Hello and welcome into my attic. So in this video I'll be showing you how I'm able to upgrade and high end any old granny ceramic that I buy from the thrift store and you can do it too. Uh, probably when you go to the thrift store and you see these old ceramics you know you're a bit put off because they look old and outdated or maybe even cracked or something but you can absolutely renew them with this technique it's very easy and very quick so you absolutely don't want to miss this video to see how I do mine so let's get started so here's my little jug really gorgeous and it's made in Czechoslovakia and it's got this little design on on both sides it's got a little air crack but you know it doesn't bother me it's got this green so it's a bit granified for me and a bit too bright colors so I want to uh, attenuate a little bit so I've prepared my cheap and cheerful mixture here and I'm just gonna dab it on so I think I'll do the inside first. Okay, so just dabbing that on like that. Pom pom, dab, 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 dab. I'm going to probably have to give it a few coats. Now a lot of people to revamp their ceramics, they simply paint over them. I'm not too keen on painting over them. What I like to do is just give my ceramics a freshened up facelift by using my translucent medium, which is so cheap and easy to make at home. You can make it transparent or with a touch of color, in this case white, and as you'll see, it will cover up the cracks and the stains, but you can still see the design on the ceramic, although it will be slightly faded, but gorgeously matte, which makes all the difference, I think, and makes it look extremely exquisite. So I'm happy with the inside rim, which I quickly dried off already with the hairdryer. And now I'm going to do the outside of the jug. So I'm freely brushing on the mixture and then I'll dab to smooth and blend evenly. Then I'll go and dry it off with the hairdryer before I proceed with the other side. that is so before it was like that and now it is like that and oh, just, it's so smooth and silky and it is so hardy it's not coming off so what I'm gonna do now it's already dry I'm gonna turn it over and do this side now same thing just that's it guys so I've done this side I've done this side and now I'm gonna have to do the handle and I'll probably go over this to get rid of the green I don't want to get rid of it just to and like here I've got to do it's I'm not gonna bother with the bottom or the inside it's just this part so okay, I'll do the handle now the handle but you know I'm gonna go in give it another coat in to get rid of this okay so that is completely to my satisfaction now 
but I think I'll go over it one more time actually um, it's so slippery now because it's so smooth I can't even hold it there you have it guys I'm satisfied with that I'm going to keep it like that I've got some design. How beautiful that is. Ugh. It's just absolutely beautiful. But just for fun, I want to cover this up. See if I can cover up that crack, that hairline. Just for the fun of it, really. I'm I'm sorry to cover up the made in Czechoslovakia, but First coat. Because it did have a hairline crack there and that's gone. And it did have oops. It did have a hairline crack there as well and that's gone. So rid of the air cracks. Um and I'm just so happy with it now. It's just so beautiful. So what is this magical mixture, I hear you ask? So to make this gorgeous matte medium, what we're going to do is we're going to pour a roughly a tablespoon of wood glue or PVA glue, a tablespoon of cornstarch and a tablespoon of water but these measurements are just um, approximate you know I'm just going by instinct uh, what I feel is right for my project and that is what you know you should do as well just try and experiment experiment until you like the look of what you get because there are no real recipes for this um, it's just mainly instinct Okay, so this tub here is exactly the same as this tub here. Um, and they both look very white, but when they dry, they'll be transparent. Transparent, but very matte. And they'll feel like stone as well. It's a really lovely quality medium. Um, but the one on the right, I do want it a little bit of a white colour. So I am going to add some white acrylic paint to it. Not a lot, just a little bit because I, I still want it transparent, but I just want, want it to have that tinge of white in it. Whereas this other, I'm going to leave that transparent. Um, and I can use that for like sealing or getting some build up, you know, if I want it a bit thicker without putting color on it. Um, and you can add any color you want. In this case, I'm adding white. So to show you how they dry up, I've done a coat of each here. As you can see, they're both pretty transparent. So I'm going to add some more white paint into the one on the right because I do want a more of a white Claudia look. And now they're both dry again. You can see the one on the left is still transparent, whereas the one on the right is more, it's still transparent, but it's a more whiter, cloudier transparency. And to get the best result with this kind of medium, it's best to dab on with a sponge. Um, I like to use a pom-pom. Okay guys, so now you've seen 
how to make the product, how to apply the product. Um, keep watching because I'll show you also now how to apply a decorated napkin, uh, stickers and paper. So for the trinket box here, uh, I gave it a very good scrub because I think it hadn't been washed for about 100 years. <laughs> Um, and it come up nice and clean and before I added the mixture onto the trinket box I added a graphic first and then um, with the mixture I went over the whole trinket box and over the graphic as well so I'll show you how I stack on the graphic so this graphic I downloaded from the graphics fairy on my inkjet printer so I wanted to thinen out my graphic um, to make it more subtle. So I put it face down and just stuck some packing tape on top of it and pulled it away gently so that the back of the photocopy paper would come up, making my graphic much more subtle. As you can see, it's slightly more transparent now. Then I cut it out and just stuck it on with my wood glue and water mix. Obviously Mod Podge is fine as well. After that I just gave it a quick blow with the hair dryer to dry it off. And then I proceeded to dab on my mixture. First I dabbed on a transparent coat and then I dried it off. Then I gave another transparent coat then I dried it off. And then I decided just for one more coat I'd do the white. Uh, mixture and then dried that off and then when it came to the crack on the top I just insisted a little bit more with the white just a couple more times and the uh, crack just disappeared after that and as before I think the end result of this is absolutely exquisite and it just looks like new again Another thing I like to do sometimes is to take a smooth stone and rub it all over and it just gives it a nice smooth finishing touch. So now I'm going to show you how to add napkin to ceramics. So for the next DIY I'm going to add napkin to my white jug um, and I want it to look like it's an organic print, you know, like it's already been stamped on in the factory or whatever. Uh, so I don't want any wrinkles. Um, so the best way to cut out the design is to leave the napkin intact. Do not separate the napkin because it's much easier to cut around the design uh, when your napkin is intact. I'm not cutting perfectly every single detail of the napkin. I'm just fussy cutting around it because, because it's white on white, it will kind of disintegrate into the mixture and into the jug itself and it will just all amalgamate into one. So as we don't want our uh, napkin to wrinkle, we've got to put um, minimum glue as possible onto the jug. Just kind of skim over the top uh, without wetting it too much so we don't get too many wrinkles. I'd advise as well to unload the glue onto a napkin before you start um, brushing it onto the jug. So once the glue's on, we'll gently place the napkin on top and gently from the middle dab down onto the napkin um, moving outwards with your fingers then take some cellophane and dab down further now for the mixture and what i had done here was exactly the same as what i done on the trinket box i did two coats of the transparent drying in between and then i did a coat of the white I made sure to be careful when I brushed the mixture onto the napkin um, but when it came to the dabbing you know I done that more freely. So as you can see this side has been coated with the mixture and this side has still got to be done so let's crack on. Here you can clearly see the difference one is opaque and one is shiny. So here I'm adding the white. So 
So the jug on the left has the white mixture added to it as well, whereas the one on the right is just the transparent. So, you know, obviously it's just a question of personal taste. So this was actually an Easter project and here you can see the before and after of these rabbits because I decorated these rabbits in exactly the same way, cutting flowers from the napkin, gluing them on and then adding the mixtures. Well, as you can see, guys, the world is your oyster with this technique. You can just go crazy. <laughs> and here again, I'm rubbing over the stone. And the reason why I'm doing that really is because when a paper or napkin gets wet um, and then dries, the fibers will rise up and it will feel kind of rough. So with the stone, it's a good way to smooth it all down again. So it becomes all nice and smooth. You don't really need to do it on the ceramics, just the paper really. So this was actually an Easter project and I haven't uploaded the video yet. It will probably be for the next Easter. Um, but yeah, I did some clay roses, I did other decorations, but you know, that will be for another video. Okay, so the next DIY, guys, is just as simple as pie. You just stick on the stickers and, as before, uh, dab over the product. And that's it, finished. Within a few minutes, it will be finished. Um, well, anyway, I hope that you uh, are inspired by this video. I hope that you give it a try. I hope that when you go thrifting, you'll see uh, things that maybe you would have left there and now you'll pick them up and um, give them a good makeover with this beautiful product that not just uh, covers up all the strong colours of the ceramics but it just makes the ceramic, the white ceramic, even if it's just white ceramic, it just makes it look so much better. Anyway guys, I'm going to let the video run. Um, please like, please subscribe and hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys, bye.